Yeah. Could you comment on the, the three signees and what you see in their games? Yeah. Uh, you know, let's start with the big Dom Campbell, you know, kind of one of those wide body carb space guys that you can throw it to in the post that he's got a feel for the game and can uh, turn and, and make plays. Got You know, he, he's working to get himself in better shape. When I saw clips of him back in the spring before we really got on him, I was excited. He reminded me of Mike Piggies who actually was the head coach at Louisville last night. How about that? I texted about four o'clock. I said, keep them loose. He goes, oh, coach, I need to hear that. Thanks, I need to hear that. Use your smile. Yeah, yeah, coach, I need to hear that. Anyways, Mike was uh, an undersized frontline guy who you know, was a little heavy as a young player, but had all the footwork and hands. And Dom, I think, certainly has that. And, uh, and JJ, just a really explosive guard um, the area where I was so impressed this summer was his ability to see the floor and pass it. I didn't know he could do all that that well. That continues to impress me. He could always score it and shoot it, and physically he's built for it, you know. Uh, and then Van is, uh, you know, I, I, as we watched Van through the summer and I went to his first workout September 9th, we got there the first day, you know, we got to, J, we got to JJ at 6 in the morning, and then, you know, thank God we were able to get our plane and Tony and I got to that Orlando workout day one because I think the coach was, well, who's really, who really wants them? And we got there and halfway through the workout, I went up to coach. I said, this is Mooney and Bonzi, kind of. This is an, it would be that kind of development arc. And Coach Burke is really an experienced guy. Of course, he knew Mooney from Orlando and he certainly knew Bonzi. And I think that struck a chord. But, you know, he's a big face-up forward, can run, shoots it a little bit, you know, physically, um, really the whole package there. So, um, and, and, you know, I think all three of those guys really saw immediate playing time. We sold that hard. I know we have these seniors that still have eligibility, but I don't know where that's going to be. And that'll have to probably work itself out, you know, later in the season. So, you know, we really sold a immediate playing time, which I think we're going to have. Yeah, the, you, know, you know what we also did on both those visits? It wasn't football weekends. We may have learned something. I, don't get me wrong, man. The football weekends are really fun. But a lot of these kids, you know, they're, they're basketball players. And what we were able to do is get them at my house with our team and this staff and all the families. And they could really interact in that setting at my house in both JJ's case and Ven's case, and I think families especially saw interaction and staff and children and our players, and that was more powerful on a Saturday afternoon than than a cool football weekend. So we got to keep that in mind moving forward. Sterling's game is uh, he's really pretty complete top to bottom, isn't it? Yeah, he's got. You know what's neat about him too is there's a charisma that's infectious, and he's really an energy guy with his teammates. I think a lot of young players just kind of play. And, and maybe they're a little bit of wet blankets and, 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 you know, not that they're selfish, but they, you know, they can't lift other guys up, you know, emotionally and with, with good energy. And, and he's just got great juice about him. I went down to watch him play the other day at Lalamere and he's so happy when his teammates do something. The court charisma is something I talk to him a lot about uh, through the recruiting. And I, and I think it struck home. His parent, you know, I, he, he's got a charisma and an energy about him, you know, his smile will light the building up. And uh, and then, you know, I fast forward and I think, wait a minute, Blake Wesley and him? Well, that's pretty good. Uh, man, I can't even screw that up. 